Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I'm going to be going over the Halloween event in Wizard 101 because it's, uh, I think it's at its full steam now. Uh, you know, obviously they delay and add packs progressively over. I think this is all the packs. If not, that doesn't really change much. I'm going to rate basically everything that it adds. Uh, tell you, is this Halloween event worth it and all that. So let's get into it. Now, let me preface this by saying Halloween is probably my favorite time of year. I think Halloween is really, really cool. I really like the event. And every year for the past who knows how many years, I've done all of these quests that Jack Hallow gives, despite the fact that they give literally nothing in regards to um, XP or rewards. So, whatever. Uh, take that as you will. Uh, so let's get into it. Starting with quest lines. Now, the Halloween event adds two main quest lines. We have Jack Hallow here, which, as I mentioned, doesn't really add anything in particular. None of the quests really give that much XP at all, but they exist in the game if you want to do them, and um, they happen every year. Gives you a little bit of gold. They can be like a little fun thing to do with friends, just wandering around doing Halloween events. Nothing is really useful that you get from them, but they exist. Now, Dorgan over here offers the second quest line added, which is to investigate this mysterious cave. The quest is kind of funny, I do like it, and if you are doing it right when you unlock it, which is around level 12, it's actually really worth it to do because it gives like a solid almost 2000 XP, I think. So feel free to go do that. Obviously all of these bosses drop different Halloween themed items, different uh, hats, robes, boots, all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool, might be worth doing it. This pet, uh, this Quest also gives the Frank and Bunny pet, which gives healing current, which can be pretty useful for Storm Wizards at a lower level. So, if any of that interests you, feel free to do this quest. Now, let's get into the next section of things that the Halloween event adds, and that is packs. The Halloween event adds five packs to the crown shop. You can see here Nightmare Pack, Gloomthorn Nightmare Pack, Harrowing Nightmare Pack, Elven Nightmare Pack, and Grim Fairyman Pack. Now, what packs are worth it? Let's get into that. Personally, most of these packs are not worth it at all. They all have really cool mounts, so if you obviously want to go for the mount, then feel free to open them. Like, the Nightmare Pack especially has some really cool mounts with the um, ghostly Pegasus mounts. But, the um, in regard to the rest of the items, none of them are particularly good, except for maybe the Harrowing Nightmare Pack. The reason why you'd want the Harrowing Nightmare Pack is because it gives the best crit wands in the game. It has since the dawn of time, and it will probably continue giving the best crit wands in the game for quite a while. I actually think, um, I, I don't think that there's wands that beat them yet. Um, but they've gotten close, they're getting closer and closer, and eventually they will probably. You can see here, this level 80 ice wand gives 118 crit, which is more than most wands give at level 140. Uh, and this is obviously at level 80. I believe the the max level one, the 120 or 131, gives almost 200 crit. I know for Storm, it gives over 200 crit. So they're definitely the best crit wands in the game. If you want to crit a lot, go for these. If you want your crits to do a lot of damage, go for these as well. Um... Personally, I prefer damage wands, but they do exist in the game if you want to go for that. Um, in regards to the other packs, though, really, uh, I don't think any of them are too good. I know that this new one, the Grim Ferryman pack, I believe the mount gives 1% damage. So, that's an option as well if you want to go for that. I personally won't, but it does exist, and you can go for it. So, there's that. Really, the rest of these aren't too good. I think a lot of the later packs, especially like the Elven Nightmare pack, the Grim Ferryman pack... They suffer from uh, a problem that I think a lot of packs have, where they add a lot of the items from the original packs to them, and not a lot of new items. There's only a few new items. So what happens is, is that you really struggle to get the new mounts or the new items, because you're instead getting a lot of the items from the old Nightmare Pack or the old Harrowing Nightmare Pack in these new ones. So, that's really my rating on these. I don't think any of them are really too worth it to get, but they do exist. So, feel free to get those if you want to. In regard to the other things the Halloween event adds, this one isn't really that useful, but they're like a fun side thing you can do if you want to. And that is the Halloween Towers over here. You can see there are three Halloween Towers. I believe they don't open until actually more towards Halloween, but uh, you can go through them. They're just like tiered dungeons like dragon spire they have towers all the way up until the final boss 
Uh, they don't really give too many good rewards at all, to be honest. Uh, and I'm really disappointed that King's Isle hasn't changed them to add more rewards. Really, there isn't anything extra special except for the Halloween drops, and that's really it. I really wish that they would add a badge or something to these so that you would at least get something for your troubles. But really, that's, that's it for the Halloween Towers. They're here if you want to do them. They can be a little bit fun, I guess, if you just want to kill things. They're, they're not particularly challenging, especially since the highest tier is, I believe, level 50, Master Tower. Uh, the boss has like 2,000, 4,000 health, something in there. I know that some of the bosses have cheats, which are pretty cool, but otherwise, really, uh, there isn't anything else to add there. And finally, and this is probably the biggest thing, if you are a Death Wizard, now is your time. You're going to want to be coming to Dragon Spire going to the lore master because she drops the seasonal spell of headless horseman if you don't know headless horseman is this really really good spell that basically uh for four pips you can do quite a bit of damage but it actually does more damage than skeletal pirate on like completely the lowest damage tier is 530 which is higher than the highest skeletal pirate tier and it only costs four pips it is a really really good spell and it is dropped quite frequently from lore master you can see i have some treasure cards here um, drop quite frequently from a lore master. Uh, a lot of people I've seen have gotten it in two runs. Uh, it's taken me quite a few. I'm at like 15, 20 now, and I still don't have it. So that kind of gives you a range of how much it can take, but that's really it for that. So I believe this is everything added by the Halloween event. Um, I don't think there's anything too much of note to point out besides that. That's really it. Let me know what you think about the Halloween events in the comments below. Do you think it's cool? What's your favorite uh, event in Wizard 101? Personally, mine is Halloween, but uh, I'm curious to know what you think. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to drop like at the sub button. Support me financially on Patreon if you feel like it. And go join my Discord server. We just hit 200 members, so we're kind of vibing. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Adios.